Somebody's got a birthday. Forget about Bobby Joe. Yeah, Bobby Schmo. Uh, no, uh, we love her. Uh, uh, so, someone just celebrated a birthday here, and we have to go talk to this woman because not only is it her birthday, happy birthday! Thank you. Oh my gosh! Did you Great expect way to open on my birthday? Yeah, I'm, that was so nice of them. What is your name? Christine. Christine. Now you guys uh, have been to another Voodoo opening, so you're like veterans now. Yeah, we went to the one in Denver, and we got to meet the founder and Chris before. It was on Father's Day. Our daughter was going to vet school. It was it was really fun. So what's this like to be in Tempe at uh, this opening? It's even better because it's our hometown. We love this. Uh, couldn't wait to have it. And we even have like our friends, kids joining us. Like this is great. Oh my gosh! I'm hoping you're going to get a lot of pictures because you have pictures from the other opening. We do. We do yeah, we definitely do. So yeah, we took a ton of pictures, and all we can say is we wish it was cooler. But I know you can't control that. Uh, we'll, we'll work on that. What'd you order? I'm going to get the Captain Crunch donut. Yeah, and I was going to get the, the maple bar. It looks awesome. <laughs> it's one of their top sellers. Happy birthday to you both. Uh, let's spin around. We're kind of, you know, in the thick of it. The line is still wrapped around the building. Hector's up with our drone, and you can see uh, it goes around the building and stretches on over to uh, the nearby street. I think it, uh, it's not Terrace. It's Spence. I'm here with the head honcho, Chris Schultz. <laughs> That's so cool. I've never been called the head honcho. <laughs> This is awesome. What a turnout. Oh, it's great, right? We're, we're just blessed. I mean, you really, you know, you never really know. You know, last night I lay awake, fingers crossed, is anyone going to show up? I hope someone shows up. And holy cow, I think all the Tempe's here. Uh, how do you choose the place? You guys are very selective. You, you're not, there's not like a hundred of them around the country. This is your 19th, I think. It is. It's opening number 19 for us. And, and yeah, we're, we're very selective where we go, right? We really want to find the right location that feels right. We've been looking in the Valley for several years now, and um, someone said Tempe, and I was like, huh, Tempe? I'm from the Northwest, so I, didn't, I don't know Arizona that well. And we came and saw the building and the location right next to ASU, and we're like, we're going to Tempe. And then we painted this building pink, and here we are. That's great. Uh, we got some of your famous ones right yeah. here next to us. What, uh, what are your top sellers, and how do you come up with the creativeness? Well, I'll tell you, I have really good team members. I mean, I, you know, the reality is I'm not very creative, but I, I've got a really, really creative people. But, you know, let's start with the voodoo doll, right? The voodoo doll is infamous with, with voodoo and what we do. Every voodoo doll is going to look a little different. Perfect is boring, right? right? Yeah. Perfect is boring. So when you come to voodoo, you're making a different de a decoration, but it's all a voodoo doll. We have the Homer. Classic. It's a classic donor, right? Who doesn't like a Homer? And then I'll tell you, the hero, the number one donut, the bacon maple bar. Right, invented by us 18 years ago in downtown Portland. Someone just saw break bacon to work and put on a makeup bar. It's brilliant, and that's what the birthday girl uh, just ordered. Absolutely great. Thanks for your time. They're also hiring. Uh, if you work 20 hours, uh, you get benefits, pe starting pay $15 an hour, and you get to be yourself. No name tags. You get to wear you want. This looks like a really fun place, guys. And if this TV thing doesn't work out, you might see me here uh, slanging donuts. <laughs>